I've just absolutely been blown away by this psyop they just put on the people. Barack Obama doing it time and time again, and it's exactly what they're using him for. It's becoming more and more obvious day by day to me. It's really starting to blow me away. And exactly what this man's meant to do, to portray a certain way when it's actually the opposite. Even him and his being, people want to think he's just dumb and incompetent. That's not the case. It's been masterminded this way. That way it can all just look like it was a mistake and this and that. Nobody did it on purpose. They're just stupid. No, they're doing it all on purpose. And what Barack Obama's done is he's come out, and as most of you know by now, he got his credit card rejected. They made sure every damn one of you heard that story and heard why. Because some thieves tried to jack and hack the president's stuff. And on TV, he came out and stated, hey, it can even happen to me. So, you know what? We're going to do something about this. I'm signing this executive order. And that's exactly what this man did. Over here at WhiteHouse.gov, he went immediately over and he signed this executive order into place, as you can see right here. And what are they going to do? They're going to put microchips in lieu of magnetic strips, guys. You got that? Let me take you back in time here a few months ago. June, July 2014, nobody cared about no microchip in, in their credit card. Then... And they don't care now. They don't want it. But guess what? Thanks to Obama and this new executive order and no one's paying attention. Hopefully someone can hear my voice. You're about to get microchipped. You used to have the luxury of running around this whole countryside without having to worry about having a microchip in your back pocket. At least in your wallet. Now all of you, if you at least have a credit card, and I'm telling you, this is the way it's going with this holy bolo thing. Cash is going to be easily spreading diseases down the road. And right here, they state that 80 countries around the world use this. Canada, Mexico, Asia, Brazil, Europe. United States was the only one. I mean, that's freedom to me. That means they all got chipped beforehand. We didn't. But they say that's about to change right here. See this? They knew back in June, July, something was going to change this. How would they know that? There would have to be some kind of event come along to make them do this. Well, they made, they made it rather simple. They just said, hey, the president got hacked. Couldn't use his credit card. They made a big deal out of it through the mainstream media. And guess what? He push, pushes this executive order. And the next thing you know, every one of us across the country... If you want a credit card or anything like that, you're going to have a microchip on it. This is the beginning. You're in those times. Don't you doubt it. Don't you ever doubt it. I don't care if you love me, if you hate me. Don't you doubt it. You are in those days. We are in them. The beginning. Right now. And if there's, only, if there's any advice that I could tell you, and from here on out, it's my new motto. It's to kill the beast.